guys, welcome back to Predatory Fins. Today's video, I'm gonna show you everything we have in stock. I feel like we said that before. But yes, we do get new shipments all the time. As you can see, all these boxes behind you. This was just a smaller shipment that came in from Asia. And then we have, Nigeria's coming tomorrow, right? Yeah. So Nigeria's coming tomorrow. We have Brazil, Peru, we got so much stuff coming in. But we're gonna go ahead and just do a quick uh, follow up on all these fish so you can see what we have for sale. And we also have a big surprise that I rescue because I, make a long story short, right here. Come here, buddy. So yesterday, this guy reached out to me and he said, hey man, I have a dog that I can no longer keep because my association won't allow me to have. Hey, please help me out. Um, I didn't want him to take to the pound and he also didn't want to sell it to anyone because he didn't want it to go in bad hands. If you don't know what this dog is, it's a Perza Canario. They get huge, beautiful dogs, but I also cannot keep him because we live in an apartment and I do have two other dogs already. Plus we have a baby on the way, so unfortunately I can't keep. Now, if you guys know anybody that has a huge backyard and is familiar with these types of dogs and would like to rescue him, just send us an email at livefish at predatoryfence.com so we can go ahead and find him a good home because he is a beautiful boy and would love. Yeah, he's got his first set of shots. I think he's gonna be uh, due to the second set pretty soon, but he's only two months old, a boy. I wanna call him Simba while he's still here, but you guys can call him, you know, whatever you want once you we find a, his new loving home. I just want to make sure that whoever can take him has the, the proper needs to care for a dog that big because this guy is gonna be a beast. I mean, I saw real quick, I just pulled up a picture of one that looks similar to him. And I believe that's what this dog is gonna turn out to be. Obviously the ears are not clipped, but same color face, same color body. Exactly the same dog, I believe. So if you can house, if you can rescue him, I'll love that. We can go ahead and ship it to you. Or if you're local, just we just wanna, like I said, we just wanna confirm that you help, do have the needs to rescue this little boy here because we cannot do it. I just wanna make sure he's not going to the pound or being sold to the right hands, okay? So meanwhile, you're a shop pat, or we can do a GoFund page Everybody sends money. Once we reach out like fifty, forty thousand dollars, Lisa might want to keep him, because just to feed his horse, it's probably going to be forty, fifty thousand dollars a year. He eats a lot and he poops a lot, but he's he's awesome. So guys, let Lisa know in the comments below. Donation, shop dog, or let's find him a new home. Look at her face. All right, so let's start over here. Don't worry about these names because we got so much fish and we never had the chance to change the names. But these little guys with the black and white fin on top, the smaller ones, what are they called? Do you remember? The Pomodellos? You know, I'll put it on the description, guys. Actually, I'll put it on the screen right now so you can see there's two types of catfish in there. Down oh, to the right here, we have the Jingu Pike one. We only have a few pieces left. These guys are also really nice eating pellets. Great fish. Down below, we have a LDA 105. Beautiful pleco. This guy actually came in from Brazil and is doing really good. Pretty big too. And this is a L27. There's a couple of species, different species of L27s here. I gotta look it up and see what they are. Over here, we have this albino Procholotus. So this is like the same family as the flag tail, but this is an albino version of it and a different type, but it's just like a flag tail. It eats algae as well. And then we have a couple more of these uh, harlequin catfish, lancers. Down below, we have a few of the couple of patrons left. Right now, I would say they're about five, six inches, good size. They're growing a lot since they've been here. And these are called the Blue Turushuki catfish. They're cool fish. Our supplier said they get really big. 
I'm not 100% sure on that. But they do look like a rib saw, but they're blue, like more of the light, light gray blue color. Uh, these are the Royal Cars that we have left, which we might just do a giveaway on them, including this little guy right here. In this tank right here, we have the Titanic, which is also pretty big Fleco. Down here, we have an albino Asian red tail. It's about seven inches. Yeah, he's having a hard time stopping. There you go. And a huge barb, red fin barb. Okay, and here we have a variety of Oscars, like long fin, tiger Oscar, long fin, albino ruby Oscar, and some ruby Oscars. Back there we have the sunshine plecos, the smaller ones, about four inches. And we do have some vampires in that as well, right? Right, babe? I'm asking you. I think these are the, the vampires. Vampire. Yeah. Pretty cool little guys. All right. In this tank right here, we have the L333 and we have the L600, both farm raised. The L333 is a little bit bigger, I'd say 1.5 inches, but the L600 is about one inch. Down below, we have the Tabla Barber catfish. We only have one, two, three, five, seven pieces left. Up here, we have the Panema peacocks. We're getting them sold out too. And they're doing really good, we're eating really well. Over here, we have the albino arrows. Great size on these guys as well. A lot of red. Beautiful fish. Down here, down below, we have the, this is a Dinema catfish. So these guys, once they grow, they're gonna be just like the Dorado cat. They're gonna be all chromed up. Beautiful catfish. I hope you guys can give them a good home because they are pretty hard to come by. Last time we tried to import some larger ones, they didn't make it. So we had to try some smaller ones this time. Really cool catfish as well. Down here we have the Fogos, baby Fogos. Now look how good they're eating. Hold on a second. They pretty much eat anything from blood worms to pellets, but they love these Viber Bites by Hakari because it looks like a little worm. Now, what I found the best when you have that many, believe it or not, there's, there's like about 100 in there. You just do go like this. And wait a little bit once they finish, which is now. You do a little more. Because if you do too much at once, you'll sink to the bottom and they, don't, they won't even see it. But look how they eat. Awesome fish. Not every peacock we like that, but these guys are definitely one of a kind. They're not even afraid of my hand. Okay. Over here we have, these are the Jingu, right? Yep, Jingu peacocks. We have one, two, three, four, five of the Tiger Shovel Nose, a Cara Hybrid, a Titanic Pleco. In this tank right here, we have only five Brocopondos left. It's hard to see because uh, there's not really, ooh, there's not real light in there. And then there's a nice Titanic Pleco right here. Look at this guy. Beautiful. The and then the, the golden uh, vampires. Golden cloud. Golden clown? Cloud. Cloud? Oh, they look like the vampires from the other tank. Okay. That is the it looks like the yeah. same one. I have a couple gopers left here. I got those tanks clean tomorrow. Uh, the tank A tigers. 
more and more albino Pertolotus. Here we have the Platinum Angels, all the albino Asian red tail. So we have two of them. Uh, these are the albino Platinum Angels. If you go down below, we have four larger vultures, or maybe three larger ones, one medium sized one. When I mean large guys, I'm saying like 14, the back one over there is about 14, 16 inches. All right, Asian red tails, about four inches. Bulgarian greens, and this tank right here. Also we're eating the same type of pellets, and we have all these a little bit bigger and a larger L600. You see the bigger guy over there? Mm -hmm. Insane how fast he grew compared to everybody else. Okay. Up here is the red tail pyaras. All, I would say, about 10, 12 inches. Which we only have five of them. One is in another tank. Okay, lenticulata pikes. We still got to put the light on the system. I'll do that this week it's so you guys. Oh, I'm sorry. Half better pikes. Wells, Asian Wells catfish, which we only have this stock left. I'm not sure when we're gonna get some more. The wild angels, these guys are pretty big. They're about five inches. Now here we do have light. I worked on that already. Those are the redhead geophagus. Really nice, really pretty fish. The colors look a lot better once they're in a tank with like background and sand. These are the little driftwood catfish, right? Colombian. Wood. Colombian, Colombian wood. Oh, some Colombian wood catfish. Okay. And then down below we have a couple of golden nuggets. Oh, that guy's alive. I thought he was dead when it's so light. And some giant Garamis. We have this huge L24. Now this might be the biggest one I've had. Look how big this is. He was actually my 3,000 gallon. Ah, mother. He's actually my 3,000 gallon. I was growing him out, and this guy is huge. What do you say? How big he is? Like 16, 18 inches? Really big. And then we have some uh, Royal Peacocks and some Kelberries in there and Timensis. Okay, all these tanks are getting emptied out. He's in hospital, he's in hospital. Okay, so we have the yellow eggnog parrots. I'll say they're about five inches, besides that monster one in the middle right there. Down below, we have some really nice yellow tigers. These, like the markings on these little guys are awesome. Indo tarpon over here. And where everybody's been going nuts over the Bumblebee Oscars. We have a lot of to ship, right? So we don't know how many is left on this tank. There's some left. So guys, take advantage. These guys are awesome, awesome fish. Okay. Over here, it's a high fin. Loach, I'd say about four inches, three to four inches. That parrot, he loves laying down. I don't know why. Every time I walk by, I think he's dead. But we have just two large orange parrots, some larger size albino pacus, peacocks. Oh, we got another one. I didn't write sold on that, did you? We got another um, short body albino iridescent shark. Okay, watch your step over here. Now these are the spider kelberries. Look how nice they look right now. Can you see it through, the, through all the goldfish? Really nice colors. We only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight, about seven, eight inches. Then we have, those are pretty cool too. These are albino, short body uh, barbs. 
Really good quality. I think they'll look awesome in a tank, like in a group swimming together. Up top we have the Super Red Tiger Oscars and some long fins. Huh? And then right here, it's probably the first time we had these. These are all short body Oscars. That's the albino ruby and that's the regular ruby. But they're really, really short body, like very short body. Look, try to look at that guy on the right. Look how short body he is. That's awesome. And then right here we have this huge Barbado catfish. I'll say also about 16, 18 inches. And the South American lungfish, about 20, 22 inches. And I think, oh, we gotta do the middle, the middle row. Okay, we got a couple silvers left. These are all wild caught from Colombia. We have the black diamond hybrid in the back. It's a female, right? Yeah. We have this monster jaw on top. Someone is gonna take, give him a good home. Or we're gonna have to put him in a 12,000 pretty soon. We also have these two male breeders, black diamond stingrays. Look, look at from the top so you can see the markings on them. Look how pretty they are. They're big too. These guys are ready to breed. If we don't sell them by next year, I'll put them in the, 12, uh, the 3,000 gallon. This is the super red solid fire, fire Oscar. Awesome colors. Look at, it, look at this, the face on this guy. It looks like a bass. See it? Look. He's like, he's got that little indent right there like a bass. And then up here we have a big uh, albino or golden Asian red, um, Asian wells. Uh, let me see. Okay, tired. We have this albino lungfish. Come on, buddy. Come this way. Really cool. Loving his new setup over here with his little friend, albino, Asian whales. And we also have assorted oplecos. We got a lot more coming in, but just real quick here, we have the yellow rubbers. We only have a few left. The papa pleco right there. A couple of snowballs left. Our pleco game is going down, babe. We gotta get some more. And I think that's it, guys. Oh, 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 actually, no. We didn't show these catfish. Oop, sorry, I almost stepped on him. I, these are the, 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 what is it called? The queen? Flat whisker? The flat whisker? No, I think that, the one on the right is the flat whisker catfish. That's the queen catfish. The eel catfish from Peru. And then these are the jumper flat whisker catfish. Almost looks like a Barbado to me. On this size right here, we have the Frontosa cichlids, the uh, Black Widow Frontosas, really pretty, good size. I'd say they're about six to seven inches. What else? We have four really big L14s, the Sunshine Plecos. Right here, we have the Blue Frontosas. These guys are more like four, four to five inches, blue mobas. And then we have the bambooza. These, these guys are awesome. If you, have, if you like predatory fish, the bambooza's are like the same thing as an African tiger fish, but just not as bad. And that beautiful albino lungfish. On top, we have more of the larger sizes of Binarawana. We only have a few left of the Papua New Guinea sharks. And the Flavensin cichlids. Look at the fins. That's awesome. You see it on top, top. Look at that. It's like threaded. Really cool. Look at that top one on that guy. You see the white, the fin, the whole, the, let me try to zoom in. There you go. That's how they are. They're actually really pretty cyclic. 
when their fins are all spiked up like that, really pretty. So I think that's it. And then we have, just so that you guys know, I moved this aggressive cichlid, the, the red uh, flower horn. I move them this way, put the cichlids in there that were in the big tank. Well, you, gotta, you wanna follow him? Look at him. He's ready to kill someone. No matter how big of a tank, look. He's just, he's just a mean, a mean person, man. Why you gotta be so mean, bro? At least he's not hitting the tank. Oh, he did. He hit the tank again. Well, he's gonna be in there while we're cycling this tank. And then these guys will move over that way and he'll go right here. And then the salt water room. Everybody's doing phenomenal. All the groupers. We have two of these uh, porky, the porky fish. They're really pretty. I'm gonna put them in a the tank. And then all these groupers are doing awesome. We already started acclimating some of them to fresh water. They should be ready on Monday. And that's it, guys. Uh, stay tuned for all the other fish shipments coming in. Look at that, side by side. Beautiful. Love these sharks. Stay tuned for all the other fish com coming in. Tomorrow we have to go to Miami again and pick up the Nigerian shipment with a lot of cool stuff. I'm not even going to tell you what it is so you can see the next video. If you can house this little beast look how big he is at uh, two months old let me know we definitely want to help find a good home for him and make sure that, that you know he's not going to be mistreated because Super sweet and really calm. yeah he was jumping on my head last night though all right guys so i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys next video